everyone. Welcome back to PNP Kids. I'm Kriya Destiny of Ascetic Life of Motherhood. And here we talk a little bit more about celebrating the feast. Specifically, we're talking about the 40 holy martyrs of Sabas today. So I'll be sharing a few different traditions associated with their feast day. They are known and beloved throughout the world. So I know you're really gonna enjoy this in particular, but we talk about how we celebrate the feasts, not only in the church and the traditions, but in our homes and how we can do that as our expression of our love for Christ and the saints. So I hope you'll stay tuned. Today, we are on a little trip with our cousins. And so we thought it'd be a great opportunity to include them in our feast day tradition. The tradition we're doing today is called Muchanichi. It stems from a Romanian tradition. However, we're not doing the traditional dish. We're gonna just pare it down to really simply, super easy for kids. It's just three ingredients, so I'll show you how to make it, and it'll take less than 20 minutes, and it's such a tasty treat, and it's a tribute to the traditional Muchanichi. So, let me show you. All you're gonna need to make this dish is a canned cinnamon roll, some honey and chopped walnuts. So what I did was I opened up the cinnamon rolls and I rolled out one cinnamon roll at a time and I cut them in half. I'm using the larger size here. Then I created a ring by pinching the two sides together. Then we just simply twist it to make it into an eight shape or infinity shape. Then I just put them on a parchment paper on a baking sheet and I cooked them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 minutes. After they came out of the oven, we heated up some honey for just one minute. I put half a cup of honey and then I chopped up half a cup of chopped walnuts. Now, first thing we do, once the cinnamon rolls have come out, we dip them in the warmed honey and then immediately dip them in the walnuts and turn them over. That's it. Now, the reason why we have these in the shape of an infinity is they remind us of the 40 holy martyrs crowns that they received at their martyrdom and that their life is eternal, that they, they won the crown and they live forever. And the honey is a reminder of the sweetness of eternal life. So these are a really fun, super delicious treat. Again, they stem from the Romanian tradition. So this is our simple way of making the Musanici. So you're probably wondering, why do we make Musanici on this feast day for the Holy 40 Martyrs of Sebast? Well, let's learn the story and then we'll find out. In the 300s, there were 40 Christian soldiers who loved Christ more than anything. They were forced to sacrifice to the idols, but they refused. And as their punishment, they were put into a frozen lake and forced to stay there, trying to convince them to give up Christ they put a warm bath on the shore to try to lure them out. Well, they continued to pray all night, asking God to help them keep the true faith. And one of the soldiers was so desperate that he ran to the shore, denying Christ and ultimately giving up his life. He was killed instantly. The change from the cold to the warm bath killed him. The rest of the 40 martyrs endured the bitter cold and a light and warmth came from heaven and the angels brought down the crowns, placing them on their head. One of the soldiers who was on the shore trying to keep the 40 holy martyrs in the water, he saw the 40th crown descending in the air, but it wasn't claimed because the man who was supposed to receive that crown had already died. He had run to the shore. He thought, that's mine and so he ran into the water saying i believe in christ and i want to die for christ and so he became the 40th martyr for christ 
As a busy mom with four kids, I'm always looking for a simple and easy way of celebrating the feast. The traditional dish is absolutely worth making. It's much more involved, but absolutely delicious. These, however, suited us on our vacation and we loved introducing it to our cousins as well. So I hope you'll give it a try and maybe share the story of the 40 Holy Martyrs with other people in your family or your friends. Blessed feast. Patristic Nectar Publications is pleased to announce a new conference entitled The Sacred Arts, Preaching the Gospel Without Words, with lectures given by Father Maximus Konstas and Jonathan Pajot. From Friday, March 29th to Sunday, March 31st, conference topics will include the origin of sacred art, how iconography preaches the gospel, how to read an icon, how architecture preaches the gospel, how music preaches the gospel, and a sermon by Father Maximus. We hope you will join us for opportunities to pray, meet our speakers, attend a young adult social hour, and network with like-minded individuals. A $60 registration fee includes an in-person seat, access to a live stream which can be viewed from anywhere, and the conference recordings. To register and find more information, please visit conference.patristicnectar.org.